we spend a lot of our time uh, on, on this device right here and we're always doing this we're constantly doing this always and it's like this is a blessing but it's also a hindrance to our health too it's a problem it's definitely uh, like I said it's an epidemic because it's only going to get worse or the numbers are showing even more and more now uh, with cases of people having problems with their neck younger and younger generations are experiencing this too this isn't just for elderly people this is for people uh, you know, 20, 30 years old are having problems. They've been texting from 16 years old, probably younger than that, all the way to their 20s and they uh, 25, 26, and they're feeling the, the effects of the, the text neck, as you would say. And so when you experience a new station tube dysfunction, when you really dig deep into that issue, you really find that there's some correlation there. And I'm going to explain a little bit of how uh, jaw pain and neck pain and ear pain are tied together so if you put your hand your fingers behind your neck where there's a little spot where it goes inside like it kind of indents in you'll feel right there and then if you just hold it there and you kind of turn that pivot action right there that's the that's the main focal point that we're having and so what happens is when you put your hand there and you feel that and you turn, that's the focal point that I want you all to remember. And so I'm going to explain. There's something in the back of your, your neck here and it's called your axis. And so uh, when you put your hand there, and let me show you, and I'm texting, you're putting strain in that, strain in that area there. It's, it's causing a lot of strain in this area right here just above the neck. Uh, and right below the skull line there and you're doing this all day well as you continuously do this over and over and over and over see what I want to remind you all is that you're not developing this in a turn in the length of a week or even three or four days this has been going on for years and you probably think I'm just exaggerating this whole thing but this could have happened for years literally years and your body's just been holding on holding on holding on or you've been taking something maybe a pain medicine or you know inflammation uh, you know something that's going to tone it down so then it's just been going on for years well you continuously do that you start to get into where it's benign to chronic now and over the years of doing that, now you're starting to, to, to feel the symptoms now. Barely after years now, you're finally... See, our bodies are stronger than we give them credit for a lot of the times. Uh, we start developing problems. We think it happened in the last two days or the last three days. And it's not really true. You could have been dealing with... You could have been doing the wrong thing for quite some time, you know, unfortunately to say that. So, going back to the jaw and neck pain and or discomfort see when I had this condition it wasn't pain it was tension now people are like what's the difference well tension isn't like that staggering that 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 pain that you feel when you like you throw your back out and you feel pain you can't bend down you can't twist mine was just tense all over and it's just like almost like my muscles weighed more than they should should weigh just putting a lot of pressure pressure tension all of that in the area of my jaw and neck never did I have any intense pain so that's a blessing but if you're feeling the tension in your jaw you're feeling crackling that's another message that I was getting over the last month or so or you had have you had any crackling yes I did definitely every time I would open my my jaw uh, open my mouth up wide I would feel crackling in both sides and even sometimes I would yawn and it would be one big crunch scary as that sounds and I'm like whoa what was that I realized it had a lot to do with poor posture, forward head posture, and on top of that, I, you know, just not taking time to do the maintenance of things for your body, stretching. Like I know when you Google your station tube dysfunction or you Google uh, TMJ, a lot of the things that you hear as you start rolling into like the dental problems and then you, it starts saying you need to stretch more. And whenever people are told to stretch more, it's a little insulting to hear that because you're like, that's the obvious of the obvious. Obviously, I'm try I've tried that, but it's it, it. You almost have to do it um, obsessively. You have to do it all the time because now you're reversing years, and in your mind, you're thinking it's been maybe only three to four days or a week, but you don't realize that this condition has been going on for years. You just didn't feel the extreme effects until maybe you know a couple months ago or a few weeks ago so 
when you hear someone says you need to stretch more, you literally need to do it like all the time. Like you need to stretch every day. Um, best time is to do it when you wake up. And so you're not, you want to make sure your body is aligned with your ears, your ears aligned with your shoulders. And so it's a mechanical issue, and that's what I dealt with. It was a mechanical issue for me. But when you have your station tube dysfunction, you almost think it's something to do with allergies or you're inhaling nose spray all the time, uh, you're doing the neti pot, you're flushing out your sinuses, you're doing all the things that are, you know, I'm sure they're beneficial to a, to a great extent, but it's not really targeting the area. It's, it's almost like when you have dirty running water in your sink and you just you know change the faucet you know you're not really it could be a problem with the, the source of where the water is coming from so what I'm telling you is you really need to dig down to where the source lies meaning it most likely I don't have a percentage for you but most likely a lot of the problems that you're having with your jaw is mechanical problems and it's related to poor posture uh, your obviously diet is definitely could be you know your diet can always be evaluated um, people ask me, well, what did you do? Did you detox? I had a message come through, I think last week. Someone asked me, did you detox at all or anything? I, no detox and none of that's none of that I have nothing against detox. I just didn't have to do that. Uh, it took me two. it took me about three and a half years to realize that it was a combination of many things. And that's the problem with this thing. You, you it's not a one to one ratio. It's not just, uh, you do this, it's going to get rid of it. It's, many different subtle things that you have to incorporate into this new lifestyle that you're living to come with the ultimate goal of healing and that's why red light therapy uh i got a little little you know pushback on some with some people about red light therapy because a lot of them a lot of people are trying and it's not working uh, i also want to let you know you can't put all of the eggs into red light therapy's basket that like you have to do other things it's important i never stated that red light therapy alone is going to be what heals you because your body is still needs to be you still need to work on the mechanics of your body too you need to stretch like i said um it, it, and it's so important so basically what i'm saying if you're experiencing tension in the jawline tmj crackling in the in the joints uh you're experiencing problems with um uh, congestion, uh, dizziness, off balance, your equilibrium's off. People don't realize that a lot of your balance problems are, are targeted from your inner ear. Your inner ear controls a lot of your balance. And if your ear is being disrupted with inflammation because of the mechanical side of it is not taken care of, therefore it's firing off symptoms left and right that is throwing you in many different directions. You don't know whether to go see a neurologist, you don't know if you go see a dentist, you don't know if you should go see an ENT specialist. Uh, some people even have problems with their eyes. I also had problems with my eyes in the sense that they almost felt like they were dry all the time. So I, I was like, oh, should I go see an otolaryngologist? I mean, there were so many things that I didn't know or ophthalmologist. It, I mean, it, there's just so many things that, that this makes you feel like. So I've been to ear specialists, uh, I, you know, eye specialist, stated, you know, ophthalmologist, uh, the whole nine yards. So, I want you to know, focus on the mechanical side first, if you can. Meaning, incorporate red light therapy because that is just a positive addition. It's just going to help move the blood around in your body. It's going to help move, circulate the blood for you, you know, on a mechanical standpoint. So that's why it's so important that you. Uh, not only stretch, you incorporate red light therapy. People are saying, well, how do you, how long do you do? It's very safe. It's a very safe light. You can do it two to three times a day. If you don't have time, one time will suffice. Um, I, you know, like I said, aim it in both ears if you can. Um, I use it maintenance pretty regularly. It's it's real hot nowadays, so I'm, I'm toning down a little bit using it. But if you have the time, go ahead and use it. It's going to help you. I promise you. It's not going to heal everything right away. It's going to help you, and we need to do that. And also, I wanted to bring up, oh, I didn't bring it. Sharp, darn it. Um, incorporate a good probiotic. Uh, I usually have my drink here with me, but I don't have it right now. Right? I really wanted my drink right now. I drink what it's called uh, GT's Kombucha. Uh, it's a probiotic. It's a fermented tea. 
And um, what it does for me is it keeps the healthy gut bacteria on, in check because we don't realize but our gut is our second brain. And so a lot of the times if you could take care of your gut, you could take care of, you're taking care of both your brain and your gut, you're already on the, on the road to healing. Because what happens is if you have a, a terrible gut, it just, it's going to throw a lot of other things out of out of whack as well. So you need to take care of your gut. You need to get, feed your, your stomach the good things that it needs. For me, it's probiotics every other day or so. Um, I can list some good, healthy probiotics. It doesn't have to be uh, kombucha. It can be many other things, yogurt. It, uh, there's different things that I can put in a list for you. Um, that have the probiotic effect and a good prebiotic and I can put that on the description for you as well but I don't want to overwhelm you uh, first of all with all the things that I'm naming because the biggest thing is when you start naming 20 things that people who are in suffering it's overwhelming it makes people feel like well I, there's there's all kinds of things I need to do this is just I, I, I've had it so if I can narrow it down for you now, I listed a lot of things that you can do over time, okay? But if I could really narrow it down for you so you don't feel overwhelmed, the biggest thing I will say is to work on the mechanical side. Work meaning the physical nature of what's going on with you. Focus on the fact that your posture, so you even have to, I even have to catch myself. Uh, and, and I've trained my body to realize, okay, I need to raise up. So right now I'm raised up. But as you saw, I was leaning like, I was leaning forward. This is not helping your ears, believe it or not. So first, posture. That meaning, like I said, incorporate red light, stretching. So if you had to categorize posture, red light therapy with inflammation and stretching to loosen up some of those muscles, the jaw muscles too. You can do chin tucks, that helps with the jaw. So that's all stretching category. So that's just one thing for now, okay? So don't get overwhelmed with me here. Stretching, red light therapy, and work on your posture. Keep your, your your head up when you're texting. We have eyeballs, folks. I know it's hard. I do it too. Use your eyeballs to look down. Don't do not do this. Use your eyeballs, okay? Um, and I'm not being sarcastic. It's a hard thing to do. Um, and then also, um, you want, that's just the first bracket, okay? So I don't want to overwhelm me. I'm going to bracket things up right now for you. That's your first bracket. Second bracket is start evaluating your diet and I'm meaning meaning that uh, for me I got rid of caffeine okay that's the biggest thing caffeine was awful for me it didn't help me I brought this up on a few other videos but caffeine didn't help me because what it was doing it was making me tense up and it was making my jaw tense up and it was making me feel worse than I was already so caffeine did not help me uh, a lot of people say green tea and black tea and things like that helps but I, I, I just got rid of all of it I say coffee specifically because it's the most highly consumed beverage on earth. So coffee, for example, was the problem for me. And I just left green tea and black tea out of it as well. Uh, but when you drink a kombucha, if you notice on the label, it does have a little green tea in there. But uh, there's something potent about that tea, green tea bag and that coffee beans. That stuff is just too strong for me. I leave it alone. Uh, so that's important to think of what to take out of your diet if you are dealing with tension in the jaw, crackling. I had to get rid of the coffee. It really helped get rid of that. And then um, I should probably bring this up in another video, but I will mention it a little bit right now is that if uh, be sure that you are on top of your dental care. Uh, and and I, I don't mean just cleanings. I mean, you be sure that you're checking everything. Because guess where that ear is located? And guess where that wisdom tooth and guess where those molars are located? They're way back here. Sometimes we don't go back there with that brush. So be sure that you don't have any abscess going on in the back here, uh, causing inf more inflammation, uh, which is also causing you to tense up your jaw. You know, a lot of people um, grind their teeth. And I used to, when I would focus, I would. It would bite down just to concentrate, you know, and that was making things worse. So, I know I talked to you guys to death today, but that was a lot of stuff I wanted to get out for you. I really plan on doing more of these. Uh, I, I left out a few things that I wanted to talk to you about as well. Uh, there's just so much to cover. I really need would need to sit with you all and uh, identify exactly what's going on with your diet. Um, but overall, like I said, I, just to recap that posture is so key and 
again, if you're not, if the posture is not right, the inflammation is just getting worse. Okay, inflammation is the root of all evil. So if you can get rid of, rid of inflammation, get yourself on a good anti-inflammatory diet. Uh, that can be my next video. I will go over anti-inflammatory diets for you that will help you feel better. I, I did it. feel great now. Uh, of course, I have my days, but see, got to be, gotta be on top of that posture. I have my days, but uh, most of the time I'm feeling pretty good. So, um, all right. Well, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything you want to leave me, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Uh, you can also email me. I've had gotten emails from you guys. Uh, jwellness at gmail.com that's j-a-y-e wellness at gmail.com uh, you can also find me on instagram sir j monty uh, i got a lot of terrific people on there i connect with day to day so be uh, feel free to contact me on there uh, so if there's anything else let me know and i'll be happy to uh, assist you with any other questions all right folks happy healing take care i'll see you all soon and if you're part of the facebook